Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at the Holy Stone HS400. This is a drone that I fell in love with the design the first time I saw it. So I'm really happy to have it added to my little squadron of drones. Uh, I've been doing some consulting work for Holy Stone, so this is a uh, payment for services rendered. So let's get this open and see what it looks like. I'm going to cut through the tape here on the sides because I have not opened this one yet. I don't know what side. Okay, this is going to be the top. Box. So here on the back, you can see we've got some parts. Everything's taped in here rather well. So this is going to be our bag of supplies. So we have in here mini screwdriver for assembling the unit. We have all the little screws that we're going to need with the little screwdriver. We have some additional little screws. Yet a third size of little screws. A second screwdriver. This one is smaller than the other one. We have a mounting piece. We'll figure out where this goes as we assemble it. And then we have the SD card reader so that we can view the uh, material that comes off of the, the built in camera. Here we have the battery for the drone. Good sized battery. Should get some decent runtime out of it. This is a 7.4 volt, uh, 2000 mAh. So we've got this connector here that will connect to the drone, and this will be the charging connector. Also here on the back, we have the landing gear. So that's what one of the legs looks like. So this is uh, somewhat simi similar to some of the other drones I have, where the legs are angled. They don't just come straight down. So it kind of gives it a sleeker look in the air. Uh, but because of that, it matters which way you put it on the drone. Because obviously, uh, one way is going to look right, the other way isn't. we have the controller. We can see that the throttle stick does return to the center, which is a good indication that this has altitude hold. We've got emergency stop button, start and landing, headless mode, one key return, a turn button here, I think that's for the 3D flips, and here's the speed where we can change how responsive the drone is.
this piece will mount on top of the controller. It usually connects in, connects on here some fashion, and it is for the uh, phone holder, so we'll figure that out. That's what this other half is going to be. It's going to be, make the complete mount. So we will deal with that. Drone's trying to fall out the front. We're not ready for that yet. I'm going to pull out the camera here real quick. So here we have the video camera. It is on a gimbal. So it'll at least do 2D. So it'll go up and down while we're in flight. We can control how it's aiming. And that's what the two power leads are for. One will power the camera, the other will power the gimbal. Excuse me. Take a look at the drone itself. Take the cover off. So here we have some cautions. Looks like a cleaning cloth. The instruction manual. We've got a pack of some spare items. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have a complete set of propellers and a spare set. Always good. Here we have the USB charger for the battery. So that's the connector that's going to match that so we can charge it. We have the mounting pad for the camera. You see it's got these little rubber grommets in it that squish down. This helps isolate the camera a little bit from the vibration of the drone if there is any. Makes for cleaner pictures with a little less jello. And here we have a second charger. Here's the first, here's the second. They both look the same. So I am not sure why we have two of them. I don't know if the camera is charged separately. It shouldn't be. Huh, maybe we just got a lucky spare. We have Get another little bag of itty bitty little screws. It's always fun to keep track of. And then we have the little decorative covers. These will go on top of the propellers when they're mounted. Kind of cover up the screw and just makes it look a little bit more finished. So here's the propeller. This will go right there on top. Put all these back in the bag real quick. Especially those heavy little screws because those aren't labeled. And now let's look at the drone itself. So we pull it out. And there we have it. And you see it is not your typical X shape. So instead of just having the normal uh, arms that would come out from the main body, we have this much sleeker looking configuration. So very futuristic looking body and then these kind of struts and lattice work that hold the motor pods. 
we look at the bottom. See, here's our battery door. And in fact, we have a battery in here. So, they actually included two batteries in this drone. So that is very nice. It allows to have a much longer runtime. Uh, don't often see that, so that's a, a very neat feature to have. We have the on-off switch for the drone. Oh, see? Oh, so we even have the little fancy lights here on the side. The motor pods. It's blinking now because it's waiting to bind to the controller. But I don't have any batteries in that yet. So we'll turn this off. Here we have three different connectors. So, this is the Wi-Fi connector, this is the camera, and I believe this is for the um, servo for the camera. We'll find that out when we go to assemble it. Then these two holes here are the receiving holes for the landing gear. Okay, so we'll get all that assembled. But that is the unboxing and first look at the Holystone HS400 quadcopter. Very nice sized. Excellent design. Nice beautiful red color on top. Got kind of the traditional black color on the bottom. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting this charged up and in the air. So thank you for joining me. And stay tuned for future videos where we can actually see this fly.